Your lord is under attack! Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it is a Friday night so it is time for a PvP commentary from Guild Wars 2 Online. Today we're following a Legion build Mesmer and we're going to be checking out this build on Monday in the strategy analysis so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in learning some more about this build, how you can copy it or how you can fight it. So we're coming up towards the central point, this is the graveyard on the Legacy of the Foe Fire. It's an extra large capture point, it's a very interesting mechanic because of that and it can cause some serious problems if you're fighting against people who can dodge around a lot because they can still stay in the capture point while dodging a lot of the time. Making a quick cap on that, however, though, completely uncontested. It looks like there's some skirmishing going on at the waterfall, and the red team are making a good job of capping the quarry, and they just brought it down right now. The base of the blue team is coming under attack very quickly on in this match. It looks like the red team are making a very early push for that, so we're getting a speed boost there from the Guardian laying that down to help us. He's going to stay back and try to defend the graveyard, which is a fantastic tactic here, because the Guardians are absolutely brilliant at holding down points like that. Looks like the quarry's been neutralised as we come into the back of the base. There's no sign of the enemy team by the quarry entrance, so they must be coming in from the waterfall entrance as we head up towards the Guild Lord to make sure we get in front of them and stop them from getting straight up there. So we've got a Guardian coming in by himself at the moment, laying down number three skill. Unfortunately, it doesn't work if you're on a different height, um, so that's going to cause some problems with the Z-axis there. Laying down this uh, number four for the Illusionary Duelist, and the number two to provide us with some invulnerability and some good burst damage. The number five there, stunning the enemy, absolutely brilliant skill. The pistol is almost a must-have for the Mesmer in PvP, it's such a fantastic weapon. Here we are switching into the Greatsword as we have some more players from the red team arriving. This is going to cause us some serious issues if we can't dodge out. There's laying on the Null Field there to try and rip some boons from them. As we can see, there are many Guardians there and they can obviously uh, put up quite a number of boons very quickly. So that's going to provide us with some support. Laying down our Elite skill there, providing quickness for 10 seconds to anyone within the area. That's going to boost also on our uh, Illusions, which is going to mean they dish out more damage. However, we're getting spiked down way too quickly. And this uh, Necromancer did a brilliant job there and is going to try and go in for the finisher. World time knockback there, however, from that Guardian coming in, trying to go for the clutch revive. It's going to be very, very close if this Necromancer can finish us off beforehand. We'll get to wait a long time on the respawn. There we go. Very well done. He managed to time that very well and gave us a very long 15 second respawn. So, good play from him. Uh, all three points, however, are captured by the blue team at the moment. So, this fight has now become null and void, really. If the red team do fail to kill the Guild Lord, they're going to be massively behind. And even if they manage to beat it, they're actually only going to have a very slight advantage. And if it takes them too long, they're definitely going to have no advantage at all. Um, so, good play here from the blue team capping those points and not all falling back at once. Uh, if you all fall back at once, obviously you don't gain too much from it. We've got one player down there already for the red team and the three others still up. So this is going to still be a very important fight. The Guild Lord's getting focused quite heavily. Um, we're trying to finish them off. So waiting there for the um, Guardian to pop off his burst. We actually managed to get a rally off the defeat of one of the NPCs that were around. Switching over to a greatsword, pulling up the illusionary berserker to try and dish out some damage with that. Unfortunately, our number five got interrupted before the knockback could trigger. Uh, that's going to cause some problems. We've got some other players down there for the red team. Two players down there for the red team. Uh, the re necromancer is still up trying to finish off the um, uh, guild lord by himself. Players being brought down left, right and centre now for the red team. The scoring, you know, as you can see, the time is very good now for bringing down players. As it's just gone past the 58 second mark a moment ago when they started finishing them off. They're getting a good focus now coming in on the Necromancer. He's going to take some serious damage. He's got a huge might stack of 20 though on himself. That was absolutely huge damage. He must have been dishing up with that might stack against the Guild Lord. And that was a very, very close encounter. Fantastically well done there from the blue team to bring them down that effectively and that quickly. Absolutely brilliant bit of gameplay. They're going to have to push back out now and try to hold on to this lead by maintaining Maintaining control of the capture point they still own. The quarry has become contested and was now going to be captured very quickly by the red team as there's no one there to defend it, but they can hold on to the other two points and maintain this huge score difference they've now managed to rack up. Here we go, the quarry is now taken by the red team, but we're coming onto the graveyard and going to try and make sure we get secure control of this point while two other players head towards the uh, quarry to try and make sure we retake that back. So often in PvP it is worth just holding on to two points, but because of the way this match has been going so far, the red team are now on a massive back foot, and it's worth pushing for that third one just to try and keep them uh, that far back and try and keep them pushing back. They're probably going back in for the Guild Lord once again, um, so that's going to cause some problems if we don't fall back to get that. It does look like our teammates have neutralised the quarry and moved on without actually capping it, which is definitely a mistake. They should really have capped that point and not just left it there. Uh, and they're going to push actually down towards the enemy team's Guild Lord and try and push that, breaking through the gate very quickly there. We can see them on the minimap coming up to this first set of stairs inside of the base. So we're going to come over here quickly to the quarry and make sure we cap this point. <laughs> they should really have capped this point first before they went on or just left one person here to cap it before they moved down. 
um, because it's definitely just worth it just to have that fallback of having the extra score racking up while you're still trying to kill the boss. If we can keep them distracted back in their base, it's going to keep them back there. So blinking in there to get in a little bit closer, uh, we can see them trying to finish off one of our teammates coming in, trying to get the number five off, but a little bit too late to get that knockback to stop them from getting the finisher off. Laying down a uh, null field there to try and cause some extra damage. We have got um, the enemy laying down a quickness boon, so we're going to take some high damage now if they're coming in with any uh, auto attacks that rely on quickness. Laying down a null field there to try and give ourselves some uh, uh, boons and also rip conditions if any enemies came closer than that. So we can see they've got a guardian up here now. We've managed to bring down the necromancer and their teammate. A good dodge there against the barrier, making sure we avoided that as we're coming up now on the guild lord. Spiking down this guardian incredibly quickly. Good spike damage there from the blue team, bringing him down very effectively. One team member is already heading up towards the Guild Lord to go for that, and they've got a player from the red team heading up there, however, though, so we're going to have to try and finish off this Guild Lord, um, this Guardian, sorry, but the Guardian is getting back up, so a clutch revive there from that Mesmer, a great bit of gameplay there, supporting their teammates, trying to get out of the fire there, using the number three skill to dodge around a little bit and keep ourselves from getting focused too heavily. Coming up here to the Guild Lord, again, trying to support our teammates, so we're laying down our elite skill, giving us quickness boons to ourselves and all our teammates, summoning the Illusionary Druid, which gets a massive boost from that, and he's laying down a lot of confusion on the Guild Lord, which is going to cause him to do some extra damage to himself whenever he hits any enemies. Again, they're trying to trap him, use the number 3 skill, following up with a number 3 on the Greatsword, and the number 4 pulling in the Illusionary Berserker to dish out some more damage. Number 5 skill, they're going for the knockback, which doesn't actually seem to work on the Lords as far as I can tell. Uh, we've taken quite a bit of damage now, so we're actually going to have to fall back from this fight for a moment. They've got a Mesmer in here who's dishing out quite a good amount of damage, and we've also got confusion on us, so it was a good job we fell back there, rather than one, one or two attacks would probably have killed us if that was a condition-based build. So we've got two players down for the red team already, currently in the down state. The score, you can see the time, is about to go for a respawn, so we have to wait till it goes past that before we finish them off. There we go, it's gone past it now, so we can now comfortably finish them off if we want to, or we can just try and keep them alive in the down state and stop them from actually reviving or managing to finish off, um, get back into the fight to kill us with the Guild Lord. Guild Lord's going down as we finish them off. Fantastic gameplay there from the blue team. Absolutely great bit of communication. As you can even see, they even had some problems with one of their team members dropping out of the match because of a bug that's currently in tournament structure PvP with the loading screen. I'm sure you've experienced this at the moment. Um, you go into a loading screen, it doesn't fully load, and you actually get kicked out. You basically can't play the game. That's what happened to the thief in this game. So absolutely brilliant bit of gameplay from the blue team to even make up for losing that player for a segment of the game. So absolutely brilliant match. Thank you very much.